Hey, you guys, it's Joe. Uh, wanted to let you know that Harbor House is listed now as an official uh, charity partner of the Kentucky Derby Marathon and Mini Marathon. So I went ahead and uh, registered today, and I figured it would be helpful since we've got to do a couple special things to make sure that we're listed correctly to come up with a uh, short tutorial, if you will, um, of how to go ahead and do this. As you know, we're running for Harbor House light the way for people with disabilities. It's a really, really great charity. I know they're really excited to have us, and um, it's really going to be a great, great event. So let's talk a little bit about how to make this happen. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead to this uh, webpage, derbyfestivalmarathon.com, derbyfestivalmarathon.com. It will take you to this page. You'll see that uh, there's several boxes um, near the top of the screen, you're going to want to click on the orange one marathon, hover over registration, and then we're going to register now. Very obvious, takes you to this page, you just, you're just you going to want to sign up for the mini. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to see, I scroll down to the bottom of the next page. It's a very, very standard registration form, name, address, all of that stuff. Nothing special. We'll get to the bottom of it, you'll see these options. Uh, a little bit of bad news. Um, I thought that there was a mini marathon relay. There isn't. Okay. So I've never um, registered for the marathon. Uh, if there are people that are interested in doing a marathon relay, basically, if there were four people, you're going to do the mini. Um, it would have been uh, basically three miles each. It would take it to six miles each. So you could still do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, and if anybody's interested in that, please let me know. But look, if you can get yourself to where you're training, where you can walk six and a half miles, which I guarantee you most of us can do right now, man, give the 13 a shot. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, you really, really want to try it if, if, if you haven't considered doing it. But I'm not going to, you know, you do what you want, obviously. So you go through this basic information. For, for those of us that are doing the mini, go ahead and click on uh, the, the event. You see the, the amount now is $65 and continue. It'll take you to a basic waiver screen. Very basic stuff. I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times. You enter your name uh, at the bottom and you continue again. It's going to take you to a screen here. That's going to, uh, I want to make sure to note that we are not doing a social or relay team. We are a charity team. So go ahead and continue past this. Uh, just click uh, continue. Don't worry about joining an existing team or creating a team. Okay, now you're going to get to some questions. I wanted to put this, I divided this up into two uh, things because there's a couple of things to note here. You're going to want to put down a, a time that you think you're going to be doing this in. If you're walking, go ahead and put four, put four hours in. The reason is because they're going to put you in, the, uh, in a relative group. They, they break up the groups uh, into lettered groups uh, before the race. The people that are doing the marathon are closer to the starting line when it starts. And then by times, they do things slower. So if they put you in a group and you say four hours and you're going to be one of the walkers, that'll put you probably in one of the later groups that goes off, but it'll get you closer together. For those of us that are considering doing it at a very slow jog like myself, three hours is a very doable time. I did it in, in well under three hours uh, two years ago. Um, so that's why I wanted to note that. Also, you're going to see something there that says, uh, 1345 marathon or 15, don't worry about it. I mean, I, I know that they keep that finish line open at least a couple hours later. If that changes, I'll let you know, but don't worry about that. And besides, if you're walking, you're probably going to walk in about four, in four hours anyway. The next screen, um, and then, you, you know, scroll down and, and, and do ahead and do the continue on that. You'll, you'll see once again, it's, it's very basic, basic stuff. Um, you know, and it's, it's emergency contact info, uh, you know, just answer the questions. You'll see a continue button. Now, here's where you got to be careful. The next screen that you're going to come to is the one that's showing right now. And you're going to see three options, charity partner, charity runner, and charity team. Do not click on charity partner. It's going to, that's going to be the default. What you're going to want to do is become a charity runner. Even if you're not raising money, even if you're considering just donating yourself, go ahead and set yourself up as a charity runner. And I'll tell you why. Two reasons. Number one, you may change your mind. And number two, people come on these sites and they just arbitrarily pick people to, to donate money for. Maybe you'll get somebody that throws you 50 bucks. So why not? Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on Charity Runner, the middle box. Now, you'll see I've already set myself up as a charity runner. 
But what you're going to want to do is click and say, become a charity runner. Uh, so you'll go ahead and click that. And now you're going to see some basic information. We're going to be real careful with this screen. First thing, obviously, is your name, letter A. Letter B is the amount of money that um, you're considering wanting to raise. I'm asking everybody to, to, to please put down $100 here. You can put way more. That's fine. Please put more if you want. Because the whole goal is to try and get 100 runners at $100 each. If we can do that, then we're talking a $10,000 check that we can donate to these folks at a game next year. And that's the goal. And then number C, letter C, you're going to see a support, a charity partner. Look for Harbor House of Louisville in that drop-down box and select them. They should be there. Um, you also should, if you want to add an image there, you can go ahead and do that. Next part of the screen, as you look down, you're going to see join a charity team. This is the team that I've created. It should be there in the drop-down box, Lou City Mini Marathon Runners for Harbor House. Um, search for it if you can't find it, but it should be it should already be in the drop-down box, or I'm pretty sure you can just type it in. At this point, you can go ahead now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see Donation Harbor House. You can do donate money for yourself right now if you want. Um, this is if you want to do a straight donation for yourself. This goes to Harbor House um, uh, directly. You may want to consider, depending on how you want to do it, doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to do it through your own charity name or if you want to do it directly to the charity. You'll scroll down and then, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, you'll, you'll scroll down and you'll, and you'll just hit uh, continue. You'll see that. It's very simple. I just put this next screen up to show you that Lou City Mini Marathon Runners for Harbor House should be an established charity team now. So you, you, you don't have to do anything with this, this screen. I, I just wanted to show you that it should be established. The next thing you're going to see is, is a very basic look. If you, want to, if you want to buy extra stuff, that's up to you. I would suggest be careful because I'm pretty sure a Harbor House is going to have a special tent set up for us where we're going to have all kinds of stuff. That's what I've been told. And I'm sure we'll get clarification on that as time goes on. You'll scroll down to the bottom. If you want to add something, you add something, that's up to you. And then you click continue. This, And then you'll get to the, the your basic, uh, you know, uh, where you submit your money. The submit your money screen. <laughs> I don't have to spell that out for you. You've done this uh, a bunch of times before. I just received this after I had, I had recorded the initial recording. Uh, our race ambassador... Uh, is a Louisville City fan. Uh, his name is Brian McLean. And uh, he sent me an email that says that there is a code that we could use to save $10. I wish I had known that. <laughs> so you could save some, you could save 10 bucks. Here it is right here. K-D-F-A-I-R-F-O-R-C-E-20. So when you register, um, when you when you pay for it, make sure that you add this in. That way you can save 10 bucks. How cool is that? You'll scroll down, you'll know what to do, credit card, blah, blah, blah. And then you hit send, and then you become a member, and then you are a, a uh, member of the race. Um, so I'm hoping that that clarifies it. Now, I, I really, for those of you that are watching this that are sitting on the fence, I, I'm telling you something. Please con consider doing that. This big, ugly guy here has done it a couple times. Um, you know, and I've worked. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's super easy, but you know what? Uh, it's not super hard, and I'm going to guarantee you the first question a lot of people are going to ask is, what happens if we have a game that day? Will we be too tired? Well, I'll tell you what. This next picture is me after the second time I did it. You can see that I'm enjoying myself, uh, and you can see I have plenty of energy to do the march. And uh, I'm telling you guys, you're going to be amped. You're going to love it. You'll probably have more. I, had, I, can't, I remember that game distinctly. I had a blast at that game. And I'm wearing my little medal. I'm telling you, getting the medal... It is such a feeling of achievement. I can't even explain it to you. It's just, it's so wonderful to do. It really is. So I'm hoping that you consider doing this. I hope that this is, this clarifies exactly how to register. Um, we do have a group up on Facebook. Um, I know some of you don't belong to Facebook, though. I will do my best to disseminate information as far as training and, and things of that nature. We are tentatively setting something up November 17th with a race ambassador who happens to be a Louisville City fan. That's not confirmed yet. Um, that would be November 17th, a Sunday. Uh, also, I can tell you January 18th is a big day. Really want you to circle that on your calendar. That's the date that we're looking to have um, a remote vodcast of Beats, Balls, and Bourbon. It's, it's a Saturday afternoon, uh, but we're going to be doing it from Harbor House. And we're talking some big guests. It's good. We're, We really want to make that a big event. Uh, even if you're not 
uh, going to compete or participate. Uh, we hope that you'll join us. Also, if you're not competing or participating, if you watch this and you're like, nah, this isn't for me, you can still pledge for other people. So uh, please con consider that. Thanks for your time. Uh, man, I'm really looking forward to this event, and I hope you are as well. Go City!